Levi Lee Strauss invented the toughest pants the West had ever known. First hundred years, all we grew here was Levi's blue jeans. Help the West grow strong. I'm Tracy Panic, historian at Levi Strauss and & Company and director of our archives. I learned last year by an email that a rock hound from southern Utah had discovered a jacket. He found a pile of rocks, took a pickaxe, hit down in the middle of the rock pile, and pulled out this Levi's sack coat. 1890s, Levi Strauss and Company has a single plant where copper riveted garments are being produced. Manufacturing started in 1873 with the 501, waist overalls as we called them back then. The oldest flyer that we have in the archives is from 1899 and it shows some of the original riveted products. On the left are triple pleat, the oldest that we have in the collection, and on the right corner of the flyer, the sack coat. One reason this sack coat is so important is because it's one of the earliest. And after doing our research, discovered that it's the second oldest in our archives. In this case, the sack coat was so encrusted, so dirty, that I knew I needed to bring an expert in, and that's why we brought Meg in. Officially, I'm Margaret Geis Mooney, but I go by Meg, and I'm a, what I call a costume and textile conservator. Meg had 40 years working with everything from dress that belonged to someone in the royal family to Peruvian grave textiles. She was the perfect choice. The cleaning process, as you know, occurs after the coat has been examined and assessed and photographed. Roadblocks for this particular coat is its fragility. One of the realities that I've seen with the jacket is it's just not gonna have that original blue denim color. It's covered with oil. The good news is this oil contamination slows down microbial action and biological action, and so therefore actually protects the coat from those sources of deterioration. Because of the oil, there's not as much effect of water attacking the fabric. The first step is using a soft bristle brush and a low suction HEPA filter vacuum cleaner to just remove dust and debris that's on the coat itself. Because of the archaeological debris and accretion, I'll be using some physical manipulation of using blunt soft tools to see if I can get some of the debris and accretions to move. It's missing one of the sleeves. Mm -hmm. Might have been used for patching at some point, which was pretty common back in the day to take a piece of the garment and use it for something else. The fact that it has survived all this time is really a testament to Levi's products. We've analyzed it, we've talked, it's time to get to work. Let's begin. <laughs> Meg, we've been working on this for two weeks. I'm super excited and especially excited that we're able to get it on a mannequin. So it's time for the big reveal. I think it is. Are we ready? I think we are. Shall we take down the cover here? All right, I got my side. I have mine. And here we are. There it is. In terms of the results of the project, I'm very happy with the outcome. Progress has been made in reducing the amount of debris and accretions. Important details about the weave and the rivets and the buttons are much more visually apparent. We managed to get it on the mannequin, which was my goal all along. Yeah. And now we get a real idea of what it was like when it was actually on a person. Preserving and conserving historical garments like this add so much to our own personal history. I think what is so important about doing the conservation on this sack coat is because it helps represent what so many of us wear every day. It's just that grassroots garment and we get to preserve it, keep it here in our archives for people to enjoy for years to come. I am so excited to add this new sack coat to our archives, to have the story it tells, especially the missing story of this jacket that we haven't had yet in our collection. Thanks for joining me in the archives. <laughs>